Okay, people, it's been a while since I've had a talk on YouTube, but this Black Panther film has got me a bit annoyed. Now, maybe I don't understand this because I'm not black, so that's possibly that, but I'm going to talk about a few things about this Black Panther film. Now, they say that pre-release sales of that Black Panther film have been one and a half billion dollars. And the, I think the opening day sales were like a quarter of a million dollars. So that's let's get like two billion dollars, close to it. And that's insane. And a lot of people have justified it to me. They say, well, it's a black film. It's going to restore black pride. Oh, okay. So taking your money and giving it to a white company is going to give you black pride. All right. That's kind of a foolish thought, but let's go from there. And then they've also said to me that it celebrates African culture. Okay. Black Panther was not made by white people. Okay. They have, okay, maybe a black director and some black actors, but Black Panther was written and created by Stan Lee, a white man. Now, I'm not hating on Stan Lee, but it's the truth. And all those things that you see, it has elements of West African culture, but that was written by him. It's his idea of Africa, not a black man's idea of Africa or an African writing about Africa. Okay? Now, let's go on to the money side of this. Okay? That was one and a half billion. As Riza Islam was talking about, that that could have bought maybe 20 banks, that could have bought land, that could have made businesses, and all that money has gone into the hands of these white corporations. And there's a wider aspect of this. Now, I remember watching Boyce Watkins' videos, and he talked about the hip-hop industry. He interviewed them, and he said, When you were creating hip-hop, didn't you realize how big this was going to be? And their reply was, well, we weren't thinking about business or marketing or distribution. We were just thinking about having a good time. And that's precisely what a lot of the black friends I've had have been talking about. We, we, we're not thinking about the future. We're thinking about having a good time. Okay. You're having a good time and you're not thinking about the future. Someone else is going to take advantage of you not focusing on the bigger picture. They're taking your money and they're going to make billions off of it. And just like rap, this is a... It will be something that they'll take... Things are made for black people by black people, and they'll make the money for it, and the creators will get a pittance relative to the people who control it. I mean, look at hip-hop. How, how much is it worth? Billions of dollars? The biggest art form ever? Bigger than rock and roll. Bigger than jazz. Bigger than pop. Bigger than heavy metal. And it's not, not mostly owned by black people. It's owned by white co uh, companies and corporations. That's who you go to if you want to sign a deal, really. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most people are going to listen to this and they're just going to watch it no matter what. But just think about these things when you go to see them. And if you're going to watch Black Panther, then put that energy and enthusiasm into blind, buying you know, black books, I mean, books written by black people going to support uh, black films. I mean, and I mean, I don't mean films that have a black face on them. I mean, films that have been pr directed by black people and are about and portray black people in a positive light. And just shop at a black business. Like, when you see one, even if it costs a bit more, get that cost is worth it. Go to them and pay that extra because you're supporting your community. And Oh wait, there's another aspect of this that I want to get across. Now, people have said this is going to open doors for black people in Hollywood. No, 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 no. You're forgetting history. We need to go back to 1998 and talk about Blade. Now, Blade was a huge success. Nobody expected an obscure comic book character like Blade to become the success it did. And it opened doors. It made superhero films popular again. It made... It was the reason why you could have X-Men, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, The Avengers. They all were created, even The Dark Knight. Look at The Dark Knight and X-Men and look at this, the style choices in that film. And you can hardly deny that that was not partly because of Blade. 
even if they never admit it. And look what they did to Wesley Snipes. Where is he now? I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I saw him in a film. He should be one of the godfathers of Hollywood by now. You know, his star power and charisma and the things he's done for the film industry, yet he's nowhere to be found. I mean, I know he's still doing his thing, but you, you get what I mean. So don't be fooled. Don't buy into these illusions. You know, if you're going to support that film, then support black media, black books, black films, black businesses on all fronts, not just on the weekend when you go to see a film.